whenever you see a question like this my friend don't panic just go back to the theorem of circle which says remember the question says find the value of x so the theorem go back to the theorem which says that what we say that what that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral is 180 degrees bam as long as you can go and use this theorem it's finished now what you are going to do since opposite angle the cycle letter is 180 what the, that, that place mean is that is that this you know this is a circle and there is a quadrilateral inside the circle and it's called cyclic quadrilateral they join it together it's it's, it's a collateral what's a collateral a collateral means four-sided shape four-sided shape look at how many sides one two three four it's touching the body of the circle first four side touching it that's why it's called cyclic collateral now what are we going to do we make use of that theorem which says year and year is equals to y t and year and year is equals to y is a law that's why i have to follow it you have a choice now it means that 6x then plus 8 plus 5 because here and here is supposed to give us 180 degrees and here and here is supposed to give us 180 degrees but we are not making use of here what we are concentrating is for here and here so that was a year which is 6x plus x plus 5 equal to 180 degrees now we sum up our life term so that this number we go and meet this number this alphabet we add up to this one we are not going to add 6x plus x we give us 7x then equal to 180 degrees remember there's a plus here when it is when it's causing this equality sign the plus becomes minus then this five come here also because they are like the number and number which is five now we are now left with 7x equal to 180 minus five we give us 175 we are now having what 175 degrees since we are looking for x not 7x we are going to divide both sides by seven to get our value for x we are now coming here all over seven all over seven so that seven will strike out this seven because it's blocking the x and x is now free to be equal to seven here is one seven in 17 is two remainder three we write our two then remainder three we add it up to this five here which is to give us 35 now seven in 35 also is five we are not left with what 25 now this is our value for x which is what what 25 can we check and see yes it's bo you have marked it already so our answer is b why why please share this video and like and comment share it for that to see thank you and god bless you bye bye